Hey everybody, TBG Hunter here, and welcome back to more Scooby-Doo Mystery Mayhem. Last time we solved the case over at the movie studio, which turned out the main perpetrator was Johnny Bravo himself. And we came over to this Wild West Wasteland with the worst draw distance I have ever seen. Yeah, I know it's supposed to be like the wind and all that stuff, uh, kicking up dust, but man, look at that draw distance. Did we walk into, like, ye olde Silent Hill? Anyways, we explored a little bit of the saloon slash hotel, we got separated for a little bit, we got into an eating contest, and we got a little bit of food and a couple of clues. Also, we ran into the most annoying enemy in the entire game, the Dust Devil, and I better start making tracks before he comes over and tries to attack me. In fact, I'll just grab a costume right here, right now. Now, the thing I like about Chapter 3 is the exploration purposes. This is probably the most fleshed out chapter in the entire game. And in re bleh, reasons of that... It, oh god, he, he spotted me. He, uh, reason is because we just have this entire town to explore to find the clues and all this stuff. We don't really get much in way of an idea of where we need to go next. It, it just says explore the main street. So we got a lot of ground to cover and if this guy could kindly go away that would be very appreciative. We still need to get three more things of food. We need, we need ham, cheese, and a pepper. And I see a hole right here, and there's something behind it, so let's have Scooby squeeze right through. And we got soap! Evil soap! We find deodorant, we're screwed. Yeah, just go over here. Let's go back to this hole that we were going to go into until our dusty little friend decided to give us some trouble. And we found peppers! The hot kind as well. As you can see, it's actually really easy to find the food in this level. I, I'd i say the hardest one is... Oh, Velma, I didn't know you were here. I thought you were until the last end of the level. Oh, jeez. Uh, costume. Costume. Go away. Um, I would say that the, the hardest food to find in the level would be either the barbecue sauce because it, it's kind of out of the way and you got to sort of climb and do a little bit of exploration yourself. But there's one more piece of food that is actually more annoying to get than the barbecue sauce. But before we do that, oh, that's just a wisp. I thought there was a collectible in there. First things first, let's talk to Velma though. And now that we've found a clue, and why is the dust devil not bothering her? What the hell does she have that I don't have? And can I please borrow it? Let's take a look at the clues that we got. This is a note from Zabrinsky. It says, keep sending out monsters until C is ready to sell. Interesting. That is actually more of a clue than we got last chapter, that's for sure. And a photograph. It seems to be a photograph of Zabrinsky, standing next to a saloon dancer. Um... Okay, it just proves he's been here, but what does that have to do with anything? Ah, well. Well, let's go into the jail and see what we can find. Shaggy Scooby, am I happy to see you? Like, what happened, Fred? I was investigating the cell when a mysterious woman locked the door behind me. Daphne went to find Mr. Chania Patra, but she's been gone for a while now. Oh, boy, how can we get you out? There's a hole in the wall over there, but something's blocking it from the other side. Well, well, be ready. Well, there's not really much to do. Oh, hey, we got another uh, note. It says number two is orange. So we're going to have to probably keep that in mind. wonder what that could be, too. Who knows? Well, there's only one way to get Fred out. We head back outside and go around to the side. We see these boxes, but they look heavy. Well, what if we try to slick them up a little bit? Guys, that was a little too no easy. Problem, yeah, we're used to the day. Yeah. Here, I found this key in the cell. There's another one in there, but I couldn't quite reach it. All right, I'll go look for Daphne. Watch out for the dust devil. The bank key. Well, I guess that gives us a little bit of an idea where to go next. Is there anything... Oh, God! Okay, that actually made me jump a little bit because he just literally came out from the other side of that wagon and it came after me. I'm going to be getting a lot of mileage out of these costumes in this chapter. I just know it. Uh, 
Can we go in here? Door's locked. Figures. Alright, well, I guess if anything, we go to the bank. Which should be right here. Oh, great, Poltergeist. First things first, though. I'm out of range of that poltergeist. That is ridiculous. There we go. Tight step, tight step. Nice as poltergeist to just stand here and let me capture it. No resistance whatsoever. This one, on the other hand, can go die. Well, it's already dead. Go live and then die again. Oh, that's not creepy whatsoever. And hey, we got another note. Uh, three red. So we've got, I think, one was purple, two was orange, and three was red. We're going to have to keep that in mind. You need the vault key to open the store. There's nothing else we can really do in here. Well, where would we find a place that would play music? Well, why not the saloon? I mean, there was a piano right in the corner, and yeah, it was right, one was purple. So why don't we go over to the piano? Behold! The puzzles of solving what a player piano should play! And number three was red. Swinging. Well, the, well, the sneaky music actually goes pretty well with this. The minecart key. We could remake remix that into some hot beats. Alright, so we got another hint of where to go next. Anything over here? No, that no, doesn't look like it. I see. Grab ourselves some costumes again, and we head down to what looked like a mine shaft back there. Can't really do anything else. Can't get that key in the jail, and we can't get to the shovel in the bank, so I say we go over here. Hacksaw. We can't get into the mine because we do have all this dirt in the way. But you know what we could probably use a hacksaw for? Uh, let's let, let's break this key out of the jail. I'm just gonna let the little guard out here just mosey on away. Now the sad thing is, uh, as we progress further into the chapter, more of the dust devils actually spawn. Can't do anything, of course. We can't do anything out here. We have to go into Fred Cell. Because the game hates me like that. But yeah, more Dust Devils will spawn as we get further into the chapter. And yeah, it's about as annoying as it sounds. Wow, that was the most flimsy iron bar ever crafted. Whoever did this needs to be fired. Vault key. I thought I said I was done with vaults. I was half expecting the audience to just laugh at that, like you know they do with everything in this game. Your turn. I wish I'd stay a Scooby. I just like Shaggy a bit more. I can relate to him. Shovel. All right, so this safe right here, it holds something very valuable and very useful for this chapter. However, we don't know where the com combination is, and we probably won't. Now, the combination is actually hidden in this level, of course it is, uh, but it's actually really stupidly hidden. I hate it, because as a kid playing this game for the first time, I did not know what a combination is, and this was before, like, the internet and, like, game facts and all that stuff was, like, a mainstream thing, or a mainstream tool to use. So, I'm not gonna lie when I say this, 
I literally sat there for, I'd say about 30 minutes, going over every possible combination till I opened that safe. Yes, I had the patient of a saint back then. It wore off very quickly as an adult. I'm very sad. I wish I could have kept it. This must be some kind of ride. Hmm. Scoob, do you smell what I'm smelling? Roasted chicken with rocklet sauce and anchovies. <laughs> Here, I'll go first. Me first? No, me. <laughs> Did you feel that, Scoob? Raw. Like we're moving. Oh. <sighs> Things can't ever be that easy for me. No, some shenanigans just need to pop up. Alright, time for a little mini game, the minecart. Uh, change tracks by leaning left and right. Uh, we have to collect nuggets to, to unlock something very special. Um, and we have to do this while in advanced darkness. And as you can see, there's a little uh, meter up ahead. Uh, well, up ahead, uh, up in the corner there. And it shows the nuggets that we need to collect. And I'm not gonna lie when I say. This is a pain in the ass. If you screw up just once in this, you've got to do everything all over again. And to get one of the big collectibles in the game, in the level, uh, you have to collect roughly around 120 to 140 nuggets. Yes, it is that rage inducing. So this might be not as commentary heavy because I kind of do want to focus. Or else something like that will happen. At least the music's actually pretty nice for this uh, mini game. This is going to be the entire video, isn't it? Oh yeah, there's also mummies here that will throw stuff at you on your, on your way. And at least the checkpoint system is kind of nice if you like fit into a different area. Uh, then, oh, those days actually pretty hurt pretty bad. And they throw obstacles in a way that can immediately mess you up. I'm gonna just keep every single failure just to see how bullshit that this little mini game is. Every single one of them. If I have to suffer through this, I'm gonna make sure you suffer w along with me. I also hate advanced darkness. Oh, that's bullshit! He literally threw that obstacle right onto me. I couldn't even. Mm. Where's the break on this thing? This is literally trial and error, and also an endurance test.
Why are there mummies in a Wild Western setting? Like, the Roman and Egyptian movie set, I understand, but why in like a, an old-fashioned Western mine? Also, what kind of roller coaster is this supposed to be if it's so freaking hazardous? There's little to no reaction time for this. Where's the handbrake? Don't even ask how I was rolling in place with that. I'm, I'm, I'm just gonna chalk it up to cartoon logic. You know what makes this just ten times worse is the fact that the audience laughs at you sometimes when you fail. Because that's encouraging.
Então... Ok, let's just death. Like, not even a hint. That was literally a trial and error kind of thing. It was a beginner's trap. Back for those nuggets. Make it stop. I fell through the world. You know, maybe this place is not a ghost town because of the monsters and stuff. Maybe it's because this thing's a living death hazard and a, a lawsuit waiting to happen. Like, what, what, what if the ghosts and poltergeists that I've been capturing all this time weren't actual monsters from the Tome of Doom and they were actually just, you know, park goers who were killed by this madness ride? Oh god, that's mortifying. But it's also somewhat believable. I wish I could make it stop, but it just won't end! That is the most bullshit jump in this entire... in this entire... endeavor. I can't really call this a, a minigame, I can't even call this a ride. Th th this is just an endurance test. This is my own literal hell. I've heard other people who have played this game probably will even say that this is this is probably the worst part of this entire game. I'm gonna be hearing this piano playing in my nightmares tonight. I just know it. I'm just gonna lay my head down, just close my eyes, and all of a sudden I just hear the piano start playing. I was like, no! I just hear Scooby show, yell Raggy the entire time. His screams are my screams, thank you. At least I got over 140 nuggets, so I think I've passed the threshold. Well, the moment of truth is gonna come, because we finally are done. Holy hell, that took too long. If I have to go through that again, I'm just going to cry very, very salty tears. Now, the reason that we had to collect so many nuggets is this little dispense right here. Moment of truth. Hey, we did it. We found some cheese. And you know what? We never have to do this minigame ever again. Why do I feel a cold chill down my spine all of a sudden? Hey, we in the backyard. Oh, hey, a clue. I recognize how the clue. I don't. I don't even know what that was. It was a a T. Okay. I didn't know they had surveillance cameras in the Wild West. Well, I mean, this is probably just like a security room for the entire area. Key 
inside. They just break the fourth wall. Also, yeah, costumes and set designs built in for the theme park is totally a clue. Now, it's time to, before we leave, it's time we go over to this chalkboard right here. You can barely make it out, but what's on the chalkboard right here is actually the safe combination. So, 137. The fact that the light in here is so bad, I attribute to the fact that it this level just gave me so much trouble as a kid. And making me have to go through the entire, like, the entire save combination to get the, get the contents inside. Alright, so do we have everything? We're missing ham. Um, where's the ham at? Crap, we can't, we can't leave, we can't be done with this until we get the ham. Oh god! And also run away from the dust devils. Where was that ham hidden at? I forget what- Oh god! Uh, hey, uh, can- can- can we, uh, take a five minute recess? Get over here, just some wisps. More Scooby Snacks. Um... All right, you know what? Why don't we get back to the bank and get into that safe before we get killed out here? Because we have no way of defending ourselves against these guys. Oh god! Run away! Bank's over here. You go in, Scoob. Surprisingly, the music's been pretty lacking. All right, now it's playing. All right, one, three, um, there we go, seven. And for all the troubles, we get the Dust Devil page of the Tome of Doom. So now at least we can finally stand a chance against those guys, and also I would like to know where the ham is. I don't think it's back in the... Would it be back in the saloon? I wouldn't think so. I mean, I'm gonna go run in and check, and if not, I'm probably just gonna go look it up and just, like, cut to where it actually is. Please don't let it actually be this... be this annoying to find. Right, up here was that one clue. Do we have all the clues as well? Yeah, we have... Oh, nope, we are missing a clue as well. Great, we're just missing everything. When I said that everything is actually... This is probably the easiest chapter to get all the clues and stuff. And we can't go back into the hotel, so if there's anything back there we missed, we, we permanently have been screwed out of it. So yeah, you want to be sure that you cleared out the entire basement, or else you're never going to be able to get back in there. Alright, so I will see you in just a bit when I go find out where that one clue that we missed and that one piece of food that we missed is located. <laughs> Alright, so, you, you remember when I said that we were done with that minecart and we never had to go back onto it? Well, the, one of the ingredients is hidden here, it's the ham that we were missing, so now we have all the food ingredients. But guess where the clue that I missed out on is? That's right, I gotta go back onto the minecart again because it's actually hidden in one of the tunnels. I want to die. Please, someone end my suffering. All right, center path, sixth tunnel. We go right. Dodge everything. Duck under here. Make a left. Jump over the wood. Make a right. Jump over this really evilly placed hole right here. Into the left. And there's a clue. Now all I need to do is get out of here. Easier said than done. The things I do for the sake of being a completionist, even though I missed most of this stuff in the first level, whatever. At least I don't ever have to go through that mayhem ever again. I'm still going to cry myself to sleep tonight. Well, ladies and gentlemen, I think that's probably as good a time as any to end things off. We made a lot of progress. We got all the food. We got all the clues. We got the Dust Devil page for the Tome of Doom. Next time on Scooby-Doo Mystery Mayhem... 
We're gonna go and clean up these here mean streets of them there varmints. Uh, but before that, I'm gonna go have a nice long cry and contemplate what I've been doing with my life. So until then, I will just leave you off with Shaggy's happy-go-lucky face and Scooby staring creepily at him from behind. See you guys next time. Later. Oh, of course, Scooby decided to move at the very end. Of course!